All right, welcome everybody to the Gun Guy Cody channel. Um, I'm Cody, the host, and I've got Colton here from 801 Weapons Howdy. Works. Uh, and today we're going to be covering two things. We're going to be covering what a general purpose rifle is, and then also what 801 Weapons Works is, and a, a cool feature about them that I really like. So first off, let's talk about what a general purpose rifle is. Sure. Okay, so the way I like to sum it up is it's the jack of all trades, but the master of none. Right. So mm -hmm. your general purpose rifle is not going to be the best long distance rifle. It's not going to be the best, you know, close quarter combat or CQB uh, rifle. It's it's the go to rifle. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, you know, a lot of us have I feel like gun ADD or like car guys have like three or four different uh, project cars. But at the end of the day, you know, when shit hits the fan or we're in a scenario where you need a rifle like this, a fighting rifle, um, you're only going to be gr grabbing one rifle. Right, and maybe a pistol or, or something else, but we're not going to be carrying no a whole collection. No one's grabbing a duffel bag and throwing yeah. them all in, running out with them. Yeah, exactly. So a general purpose rifle is the jack of all trades, but the master of none. Right. So it's something that we're trying to build to do it all, which I know we can't build a rifle to do it all, mm -hmm. but come as close to it. Right. Absolutely. So uh, when I was thinking about general purpose rifle build, you know, I had a couple of different ARs already: a 16-inch barrel, I had a 12.5. Um, I had some different experience with rifles already and I came down to, Hey, I wanted something that was 13, seven, you know, 13, nine. Yep. And the reason behind that was I didn't want to have to deal with the brace. Yeah. And then I also didn't want to SBR it, you know, and file my tax stamp. And the reason, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. um, you can't take an SBR over state lines without you, notifying them. You can, yeah, there's just a notification process, all that fun stuff. For yeah. It. And, I mean, and my trips are spontaneous, right? Like I'll sure. decide to go to, to Vegas on a weekend. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, I'll just take it anyways. But, uh, you know, I try to be a law abiding citizen. Um, so I wanted something that was long enough that I could do the stock. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but also with the five, five, six round, I didn't want to go too short because terminal ballistics with the five, five, six has a lot to do with the velocity of that round, mm -hmm. right? That round was originally developed in a 20 inch barrel. So, um, I feel comfortable at a 13, nine, this is right now, right? Uh, 13, nine, yes. 13, nine, that I'm still getting enough velocity over that 2,500 feet per second, um, to be effective stopping round. Right. Mm -hmm. And a general purpose rifle to me is something that's 300 meters and in, you know, 300 yeah. yards and in. that's just my opinion. Okay. So what I told, uh, you know, Colton here at 801 weapons works was barrel length. Right. Yep. And then I told you, I wanted a, a dead air style muzzle device for my you know, Sam NS uh, mm -hmm. suppressor because I'm going to run it suppressed. And there was two really other things. Well, the only specific thing was the, um, the, the folding folder. stock, yep. law folder, right? And the reason why I wanted a folding uh, stock was because, again, I go on road trips a lot. I go on trips with my family. Mm -hmm. And this general purpose rifle I want to bring with me everywhere, I want to put it in an in inconspicuous bag, sure. right? I want it to be in a bag that doesn't look like a big gun case, um, and that was a, a, an important feature to me to have a overall sh short length rifle folded up. Mm -hmm. So that's really all I told Colton and he ran with the rest, right? Yep. Um, now let me go over why I chose the AR-15 as a general purpose rifle. You know, we live in America and, um, this is, I would, uh, you know, argue the most popular rifle or platform in the United States. <laughs> it um, is. it's reliable. Yep. It's accurate. It's just a good platform. Yep. Um, it's the reason why the military has been using it for like, what, 50, 60 years now? Mm -hmm. And the the second reason why I chose the AR-15 platform is, you know, what do you find in every squad car in America? An AR-15. What do you find in every National Guard base? An AR-15, right? What do you find in every military branch in America? An AR-15, right? So, you know, dream up all your doomsday thoughts, all that kind of stuff. The parts are going to be available. They're very easily changeable between AR platforms. It's all mil spec. Um, and ammo is very common. That's why I chose the AR-15 platform. Plus, I have tons of years of experience on this in the Marine Corps Infantry. So, you know, that's why I chose the AR-15 platform. And a little bit behind the very basic requirements I gave him, right, mm -hmm. was barrel length, folding stock on an AR, and he ran with the rest. So, absolutely. Colton, tell me what you put in over there, 801 Weapons Works, in this rifle. Yeah, absolutely. So, kind of going from one end down to the other, just mm -hmm. normal Magpul, um, MOE, 
SLK stock. Yep. It has a the newer ish uh, MK2 buffer system from BCM. That's the longer equivalent to a Viltor system. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's going to help just overall longevity of all the parts and stuff kind of help it cycle smoother okay uh going to the upper lower we have centurion cm4 upper lower really like those guys because they're affordable they're reliable you have a thermal fit upper receiver uh kind of internals it's all mil spec for the most part nothing too crazy uh we have a geisley super tricon trigger Mm -hmm. going to the front you have a roscoe 13.95 inch uh it's one of their newer barrels covered with a slr hdx handguard and then pinned and weld at the front with a dead air flash hider. Yep. And that's kind of nice. And then what, what light did we put on here again? That is a stream light, uh, their pro tech, I believe. Is that a thousand looms? I believe it was. I think so. Yeah. And, and I think, uh, you know, on a fighting rifle, a light is extremely important, right? So, mm-hmm. you know, and the same thing for like your self-defense, you know, pistol, um, whether you keep it bedside or your CCW, I'm a firm believer in weapons lights, mm-hmm. being able to identify your target in low light uh, environments. So, um, we threw that on there. And then why did I go with the LPPO? You know, we kind of talked about this a little bit, but, you know, just like a, the general purpose rifle is the ma- is the jack of all trades with the master of none, I feel like the LPPO is the same thing, right? It's not your best close quarter optic. It's not your best long distance optic, but it, I feel like it does both of those, uh, you know, roles very well. Mm-hmm. You know, I can take, this is a, um, a Vortex Strike Eagle 1x6. I took it off another rifle I had. Um, you know, I feel like within 300 meters, like this is going to be great to have that six time magnification because once again, I can identify my target at 300 yards with magnification where if I was using a red dot, can you really identify who or what they're carrying at 300 yards? No. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I thought about doing an EOTech with a magnifier, but again, this is what I went with. I think it's the jack of all trades once again, when it comes to optics. Um, what do you typically see in your general rifle builds that customers ask you? Mm-hmm. Uh, that they want what's barrel length what do you usually see so anywhere between the 13 7 up to a 16 inch kind of the same uh idea as you they don't want to go through the nfa mm-hmm. regulation and stuff so we get a lot of builds like that yep um general purpose honestly just kind of goes into what you kind of already touched on they if they have to use it for a home defense mm-hmm. scenario it's going to work or if they are going to take it out plinking coyote hunting or yep. if they need it for a scenario where they got to shoot farther it's mm-hmm. going to be able to take out 100 200 300 yards easily yep um so just kind of checking all the boxes the best you can without really focusing on one aspect mm-hmm. too hard. Obviously, like you mentioned, something I believe in as well, there's no real do all rifle. Yep. There's I've built many of these by now. There's not one that kind of does everything like that. So getting a good general purpose to just check all the boxes, mm-hmm. but not really hit on any of them big is kind of what we have here. Yeah. And, and to sum it up in the general purpose rifle, and I might've said this already is if you look at, you know, the common infantry Marine or infantry soldier, um, the rifle that they're going to carry your average soldier is a general purpose rifle build. Because then within a platoon, let's say of Marines, you're going to have their rifles, which they now have a one by six, I believe, a a Trigicon on top. And they're running about 14 uh, five inch barrels and 16 inch barrels on their their rifles. But then within a platoon, you'll have a designated marksman, which will have maybe an 18 inch barrel or 16 inch barrel, you know, and and then a more powerful, uh, optic and maybe running, you know, 77 grain rounds through it. Sure. Um, or when I was in the Marine Corps, well, I'm still in, but when I was in the infantry, um, we were running for DMs, a uh, basically an M14, M1A, whatever you want to call it. We called it an EMR. It was a 308 with mm-hmm. a three by 12 Smitter and Bender, um, probably pronouncing that wrong, um, scope. That was a designated marksman, right? Sure. And then if you look at guys on the SWAT team or whatever it is, they're running probably what EOTex, you know, maybe a magnifier and what typically like a 10, five or something barrel something because they're there, yeah. purpose driven for close quarter combat. Right. Yep. So um, that sums up, you know, our first part on what a general uh, purpose rifle is uh, in our, you know, in my opinion and in your experience of what you've seen. So I want to turn this to our second point and our second point talking about 801 weapons works. Mm-hmm. Right. And, uh, just the other day, you know, I'd already already met you, but just the other day, my buddy called me on the way back from work, and um, he's like, you know, I really want to go deer hunting again. He grew up going deer hunting, deer hunting a little bit, and he has a son now that he wants to take out. And he's like, I want an AR, you know, ten platform, maybe in three hundred eight. He goes, I just don't know, you know, what I want to build um, mm-hmm. or what I want to buy, because I think a lot of gun guys, generally speaking, might have an AR, a couple pistols, maybe a shotgun. Dad gave him right. Mm-hmm. 
um, and they understand how to use them and shoot them and be safe with them. But when we start talking about barrels, you know, bolts, the triggers, the nitty gritty, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, and you know, I'm not much of a car guy, but someone starts, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> um, someone starts talking like gear ratios in a car and headspace and all that in the engine. It's like, dude, okay, it's kind of going over my head, right? Yeah. And a lot of us feel overwhelmed when you're trying to build an AR or if you're new to firearms. So, you know, he's saying, I just know I want an AR-10. What do you recommend? He's asking me because I'm yeah. the gun guy, right? And all my buddies know me as the gun guy. So we're talking about it. And I said, you know what? Like, actually, Colton over 801 Weapons Works has a great feature, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about your company is that I can come to 801 Weapons Works and say, hey, I want an AR-10. The purpose is going to be deer hunting. And I don't want to spend past $1,500, $1,800 for this rifle. Yep. With just that information, Colton can take uh, you know, what you've given him and build you a rifle that's purpose built. Or let's say, hey, I want a rifle built for home defense. Yep. And you just give him a budget. Boom, that's it. He will build you a rifle based upon that. Or like I told him, I want a general purpose rifle. I was just specific about the barrel, the muzzle device, and the stock. And Colton did the rest, right? Yep. I think I did influence the camo a little bit. Yes. Because I, I like that old school camo. Um, so I really love that about your company because mm -hmm. I feel like the gun community can be very overwhelming to new um, people coming into it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a lot of a lot of us are just blinkers, right? A lot yeah. of us are just blinkers that, you know, want to go have fun. Maybe we're a little bit of a hunter and maybe we want to, you know, we want to defend our, our home. Absolutely. And a lot of these guys don't know the nitty gritty, yep. right? And so, that's one of the reasons that I built the company the way yep. it is built up and whatnot. As I understand there's a lot of new people. There's a lot of people who see it but don't really know what they're looking at or what they really want. And so we strive to give people a true out-of-the-box rifle. Mm -hmm. Um, with the budget and the parts you have in mind. If you know every single part you yep. want on it, then we'll make that happen. Or if you know, I want this trigger in it and mm -hmm. I don't know anything else, then we have designed a process to really streamline it and give you a build that checks all the boxes um, that you have and gives you something that once it comes out of the box, you shouldn't have to change anything. Yep. This is completely tailored to you and your goals. And again, nothing should have to be changed once you have it. Yeah, and, and like we're saying, you know, you could be that guy who's like, you know, I, I have some guns, I, mm -hmm. I know about them, you know, whatever, but I don't know specifics and you can take care of the rest. Or you could be the guy who maybe, maybe you've built your own AR before and you've been into this for a while and you want to be so specific. I love the fact that when you're working with 801 Weapons Works, you're going to talk to him, right? Yep. And he's going to, he's going to, whether it's in person or on the phone, you know, um, he is going to go over as specific as you want with every single part from coating to you know springs everything we we're just talking about so i think that's great man absolutely because uh, it takes the pressure off all those guys that are kind of new to it mm -hmm. um and, and get a rifle just like we got here absolutely you know, it's, it's ready to go and it also goes into kind of another point of the build is our qc process kind of mm -hmm. going into all this is um we're going to go through and every single part we're getting we're going to check every aspect of it it's going to be proper fitment we're going to check pin gauges we're going to check that everything functions the way it should that you know there's not burrs left in the barrels anything like that so that once you have it again it's ready to go out of the box you're not sending anything back for warranty we're taking care of all that before and because kind of like i mentioned earlier, we don't make any of our own parts or anything like that um when i first got into this i was like we could do yeah. that but then yeah. again i'd only be able to offer five different barrels or yep. something like that whereas now I can offer 50 different barrels mm -hmm. from 50 different awesome manufacturers in any length, material, caliber that we need to hit to truly give you the rifle that you need. We're not sacrificing anything like that. So I kind of... Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, you're talking about I was going to make my own barrels or whatever, but it's like mm -hmm. the AR platform has been around for decades. Yep. People already are established or, you know, their fan base of like, oh, I'm a this guy or that guy. You can be the source of, hey, I want this, this, and the other. Yep. And you provide a lifetime warranty, right? Absolutely. So we're going to cover every single aspect of the gun. Mm -hmm. um, if something breaks on you or anything goes wrong, mm -hmm. let us know. We will fix or replace um, as long as, you know, you're not being yeah. done with it or yeah. something like, like I that. Like I said, running a 300 blackout on 5.56. Five, yeah. Like, and I mean, uh, probably... accidents happen. We're going to cover mm -hmm. that. But we've met some guys who want to drag them, beat them behind their trucks yeah. just to see how it's going to go and then bring yep. it back. And it's like, we're going to take care yeah. of you. But, yeah. you know. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> and uh, one thing that I thought was cool, and I don't know if how many people actually do this. I could be ignorant to that. Mm -hmm. But 
you're like, yeah, man, your rifle's almost done. I'm just running it on a full auto lower, yep. you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's pretty sick. I you say know, that's it's... part of the QC process is every, um, whether it's just the upper alone um, being mm -hmm. assembled by us or a complete build, it's going to be test fired in the final configuration as well as with our full auto lower just to kind of amp up the pace, make sure if it's going to be ran hard, it's yep. going to, you know, no hangups, no sags. It's going to be ready to go. Yeah, awesome. Well, let's, uh, before we end this, I want to show a couple of their builds that uh, Colton's brought with him today. Yeah. You know, because this is our, our general purpose rifle that, uh, you know, uh, 801 Weapon Work has made for us. Um, let's look at maybe something that's more home defense or CQB sure. oriented. So this guy right here would be a really good example mm -hmm. of a kind of a, like you mentioned, home defense style build. Um, this is an 11.5, 5.56, 2.23. Nothing crazy, mm -hmm. suppressed, set up for night vision, flashlight if you have that. If you don't, we obviously don't worry about that. A um, couple of key upgrades, ambidextrous safety, uh, triggers a little nicer. And then there's other parts where we don't have to get as crazy with it. It's yep. just like a mil spec buffer system, that kind of stuff tuned for the suppressor. Uh, so that's kind of a good example of a short style build we mm -hmm. can do. And a red dot, like obviously a great yeah. choice for a home Super defense rifle. Simple, easy. Make sure that doesn't slide yep. in. Uh, coming this way, we have a lot of clients who come to us for builds for hunting or yep. long range shooting. So this would be a six millimeter arc mm -hmm. that we finished up. Uh, 12 and a half inch barrel kind of designed for a truck gun, but mm -hmm. you could, oh yeah, there you go. Um, if you want to reach out to six, 700 yards, this easily could get that done. The caliber is awesome. And that's another thing is we're designing the gun to reach the goals. We're not just five, five, six ARs. Yep. If you know, you need to reach out and touch something at 700, 800 yards, six arc, six and a half grendel, those type of things. We can do AR 10s. Um, again, it's truly tailored to what you are trying to do with yep. it. Yeah. So, and then one other guy over here that would be a good example to show is a very basic, um, almost like a starter style yep. rifle. Um, no Cerakote, obviously it's got a mil spec trigger, uh, just mil spec ambidextrous safety. Mm -hmm. Um, Ambidextrous charging handle, our bolt carrier group, and then everything else is very mil spec, plain Jane, but it's yep. designed to just work. Um, whether it's going to the range, home defense, it's going to work for you. So yeah, and I would say if you're just new getting into ARs and believe, like I know a lot of Marines that don't even have an AR yet. Sure, you know, and they come in like, dude, I need to get an AR. Except they they realize they're locking. You know, um, I would go with something like this. I would Absolutely. go with a 16 inch rifle. Um, nothing too crazy and they can maybe get into themselves and what trigger and, and it's just nice to learn that yep you know because my first rifle was a or AR excuse me was a SIG M400 which is this guy right here actually okay and you know it had the plastic hand guards and sure. all kinds of you know mil spec trigger yep. and I, I loved learning how to do that but at the same time now like now that I know what I want in a rifle I work a lot yep. right I've got a family I don't have all the necessary tools and I would feel more comfortable saying, hey, dude, I know what I want. Here's what I want. Here's my budget. Yep. And you That's just me. Absolutely. And some of you guys might not feel that way. That's just me, right? Um, but and yeah, for, for first AR. Absolutely. Great. And another thing to kind of go off that, a lot of the guys we have um, work, you know, they want one rifle that's going to kind yep. of do the job. They don't have all this money to mm -hmm. buy a 300 blackout and then a 5.56 yep. five, short one and then a 6 arc. So mm -hmm. another thing we do to kind of help out to make sure we're giving you a solid rifle for the price is we only require fifty percent down deposit to nice. start the build, mm -hmm. um, and then if it's no Cerakote, it's four to six weeks with Cerakote. It's eight to ten weeks, and then the final fifty percent is due when the build is done. So it kind of helps you break it up. You know, right now all you could afford was nine hundred dollars, but if mm -hmm. you had six more weeks, you could afford a little bit nicer trigger or mm -hmm. a little bit nicer barrel and get up to that kind of fifteen hundred dollar or whatever mark. Uh, we kind of allow you to do that, so you're not sacrificing anything you know you don't want to. There's no point in you know putting a mil spec trigger in it to get it running now, where if you knew you could wait mm -hmm. four more weeks and you could get that Geisley or that LaRue or whatever it may be. So yeah, yeah. it kind of helps out in that aspect as well. What are some of the other things that 801 Weapon Works does, which so, I just did right recently yeah, for no, something else, absolutely. but what else do you guys offer besides so, some nice ARs? We're just an FFL SOT, so firearm sales accessories. Um, we can kit your AR out with optics and everything from the get-go, or you can buy that from us separately. Mm -hmm. uh, with the SOT, we can do uh, suppressor sales and all mm -hmm. that. So if you're looking to get a can for the build, we can set it up. Which is, what's the wait the time can. right now? As of, what are we, uh, May... What did it say? May 9th, I think it is. 13th. May 13th. May 13th. <laughs> uh, I'm living back in May 9th. We've seen some come back. I mean, some people are still waiting 
nine months and <laughs> whatnot, but I have seen some cans in our shop come back in two days. Wow. So yeah. times are crazy. Never yeah. thought I'd see it, but yeah. Yeah. here we are. <laughs> yep. So absolutely. Well, cool. Cool. So, um, you know, by the way, appreciate you, you know, coming all the way up here, um, an hour drive to get, get up here. So we covered what a, you know, general purpose rifle is to me, right? And then yeah. I guess your opinion as well. Um, how do I have this guy up here? Something like that. And what went into this build, uh, what 801 Weapons Works uh, provides. You know, I appreciate you guys watching. You know, who makes this available to you guys, right? It makes this opportunity for me as a sponsors, okay? Um, as you know, like, you know, YouTube and social media doesn't really have to monetize us. So yes. the way that I can do this is sponsors like you, right? Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate that. Um, and if you guys visit our link tree, you'll see a list of the sponsors of this channel, like uh, Buffalo Creek Ammo, which I'm going to hook them up with some uh, Buffalo Creek it. Ammo, some 9 mil. Okay. Um, I'm all about it. Yeah, right. Uh, but what are you looking for? You know, something like this. You're looking for ammo. You're looking for magazines, all different kinds of accessories. My goal is to get you guys as many promo codes as possible uh, so you can get discounts on the products that you want and, and just make short reviews like this, you know, Absolutely. and just down and dirty about... You know, what is the things that you guys want to want to see? And let us know in the comments, you know, what would you put in a general purpose rifle mm -hmm. field, right? Would you go with something like this? Would you go with a longer barrel? Um, I'd be interested to hear from you guys because uh, maybe I, you know, I told them like, this is going to be my base rifle now for the channel yep. where I might change the optic on it. I might go with one by eight. I might put an EOTech and a, a magnifier on there. Um, so let me know that in the comments. Um, and again, guys, well, hold it there. Yeah. Again, guys, thanks for watching.